Florida's chief financial officer is doubling down on holding farmers insurance accountable. Farmers announced it's leaving the state yesterday, impacting thousands of policyholders. News 6 investigator Louis Bolton is in studio after interviewing CFO Jimmy Petronas this afternoon. Louis? Well, Matt and Ginger, Florida's insurance market has been in crisis for some time, and another carrier leaving is a blow. Petronas says he plans to hold the company accountable. We ask specifically what the state can do. Their leadership has not kept their eye on the ball. CFO Jimmy Petronas in Orlando this afternoon speaking at a conference on insurance fraud, but taking time to speak to News 6 about farmers' insurance pulling out of the state. I don't think they were transparent, and I thought their, their, uh, their actions were very ham-handed. It's just disappointing. Petronas saying his plan now is to take aim at complaints against the company. How does the state hold farmers accountable? If there's a... a, a habitual pattern of, of complaints that are there that triggered a market conduct study that shows that they did were, they were wrong, then we'll go and find them. So we've, we've got those tools in our tool, toolkit. According to farmers, the move impacts about 100,000 policyholders. Are you concerned about those people and those policyholders and being able to find insurance? I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned but I'm angry at farmers. This is happening at a time when citizens is already too big. Are you concerned about more, all of those policyholders flooding into citizens? The landscape in Florida has changed. Right now, we've got more interest to the tune of about, I think, 186,000 requests for insurance policies at citizens to be taken out of citizens to go into the private market. That's more than all last year combined. But it's also a drop in the bucket for what Citizens is dealing with. The state insurer of last resort sounding the alarm today that it is on track to grow to 1.7 million policies by the end of the year. To put that in perspective, Citizens president and CEO has told News 6 the company should be around 400,000 and made a plea to its board today to raise rates. We are the state's largest property insurer and um, with the lowest rates on top of that. And that is going to continue to distort the market and impede recovery efforts. Florida has seen numerous insurance companies either leave the state or go into liquidation. News 6 has reported over the last two years about the difficulty consumers have had finding property insurance. And when they do, they're paying even more for it. The fallout from farmers means even more consumers will be looking for coverage. What do you say to those policyholders? So I say to your policyholders, pick up the phone and call another carrier. Petronas says his office has asked the Florida Association of Insurance Agents to explore methods for a bulk transfer of policies. If that happens, we'll let you know. Matt and Ginger. Lewis, thank you. We have some